with, with people taking videos of me going straight half half kilometer and and the running is just unbelievably horrible i'm literally limp running at this stage my legs are just shattered they're in bits i was in an awful way hey guys coach john here today's video we're going to be talking all about my biggest mistakes i've done in running and how it's going to help you out so i'm going to talk about my single biggest mistake and to do that properly i can't just tell you this the mistake and then you guys go okay i'm not going to do that i want to take you along the journey of this mistake and my mindset at the time so you don't fall into the same trap and thinking you know what if i did this this and this um, i'm definitely going to achieve my goal whatever that, that goal may be in this case uh being a martin so i'm going to talk you through my journey and then listen along to it see if you can cop the mistakes as i'm talking about them and then the very end i'm just going to go through what my biggest mistake is and what i feel the biggest mistake that a lot of people make with running especially when starting out uh, it's only when you go through that mistake you realize oh maybe i shouldn't have done it that way so to take you through this mistake i have to go back to 2018 2018 was my second time doing the dublin city marathon and i was in training leading up to it so um i the, the goal for the marathon was to run it in under four hours i'd done it in 2017 made an absolute hames of it just did not happen for me uh, just an awful day in the day a lot of things going on i'm sure i do another video I haven't done a video before on the 2017 marathon so i don't even want to harp on about that one so um 2018 marathon the goal under four hours to complete it and it, to me it just seems like a great goal to have under that four hour mark i think at the time looking into it the average for doing a mark was four hours and five minutes so uh having the ego that i have i wanted to be above average so that's 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 where four hours came from uh, and to do that i had to maintain a 541 pace for for throughout the entire marathon but i thought to myself if i can run faster if i can build myself to run that little bit faster uh, and get used to running faster that um I could get maybe closer to a five minute kilometer pace and uh, not quite five minute but closer to it that even if in the last third of the race my body started to break down i had to go slower and go to closer to a six minute pace that overall i would have that under four hour pace and i'd be able to complete the marathon well under four hours give myself enough time i figured as well if i was under pressure for the last 10 15 minutes knowing i had to go now to achieve this that i I'd find some way to keep going and get it done so that was the plan in august i got 11 runs in which is a lot for me so i hated running at this time just didn't enjoy it the reason that i did the marathon the first time was just to say i did it and that was it and never to do it again and just get under the four hours so when i didn't get under four hours it's like it ate me up a bit i was like i have to do this again just to get under four hours didn't mean i liked it so when i ran 11 runs in in august i was like you know what uh, that that's a big deal for me to keep that consistency going because i knew if i didn't have the consistency like like, like with any training plan I wasn't gonna do it so those 11 runs averaged a five minute 15 minute sorry five hour sorry not five hour five minute 15 second pace so a five minute 15 second pace a lot faster than the 541 pace so i was well on track so the plan was to keep running faster i was doing that all i had to do now was just start adding the mileage to that but i was getting faster with each run in september i hit my fastest 5k i did a 22 minute 10 seconds for the 5k and i'm like here we go we're doing pretty good in this one now and uh, for me that was a huge huge increase on my previous 5k pb and uh, that that weekend was a dublin half marathon in the phoenix park i did that unofficially around one one hour 46 minutes so uh, obviously if you double that that's three and a half hours but you add you know an extra 15 20 minutes that's still 350 so that was well in my my range for going for under a four hour marathon i thought at the time the two days later i felt good the body felt great i was on a high after getting a pb and a half marathon which was a good six seven minutes faster than i'd ever did before for half marathons like you know what I'm gonna go away for a 10k ran out my mate my mate was behind me he was like a dog chasing me all the way through so i had pushed me on a lot further and i hit a fastest 10k unofficially on, on the nike run app of a uh, four minute of uh what was it 46 minutes i think it was 46 minutes but the pace was a four minute 38 46 10 i think it was the pace was a four minute 38 seconds so i'm like here we go i'm able to run a four minute 30 38 a four minute 38 second pace i know it's only over 10k but even if i slow down and eventually get to that you know sub six minute pace by the time i get there i'm gonna have a load of time saved in the bank to get on that four hour marathon and i was really confident if not cocky at this stage where i was definitely gonna get under four hours 
you know, and that that's like I said, that's a full minute faster than my Martin pace. So this is brilliant. Uh, I had done a total of nine runs in September, but they were getting fast. They were getting longer. Um, I had nearly 120 kilometers throughout that run in September, going back to not being a runner. Pretty cool for me to get that that much mileage in, stay consistent with it, because normally it was like four, six weeks, and I'm out. Um, so the recap, the September, I got a 5K PB, a 10K PB, a half marathon PB, and I'm a lot faster right now than I was, uh, than I am for that five minute 41 pace as we start to increase the mileage again. Uh, so the training plan's working. Every run, I'm running harder. Every run, I'm running faster. So I'm getting there. I, there there's nothing that can stop me towards my goal of getting that marathon at the end of October in Dublin. This is where the plot thickens. So um, hopefully you've spotted where I'm going completely wrong in this one. Uh, but I'll just finish the rest of the story and then we'll come back to it. So I broke that half marathon mark for my next run and I did a 27K and my pace was 517 for a 27K fantastic i'm still 30 seconds per kilometer under the uh the, the martin pace goal so the, the plan in that respect is working however when i ran that that 27k it was only a week or so after the the the, the um the half martin and the 10k pb whew, my body was in bits i felt something was wrong i felt the hamstrings i particularly felt the calves i felt my lower back everything was getting really really sore and uh, my next run after that was at a much slower pace of uh, a five minute 48 seconds and that was me going out trying to run fast trying to run hard it, it, it just wasn't happening i had no choice but to slow down uh, my body was just starting to give up it was just starting to break down and i was five six weeks out from doing the double marathon and uh, my next run i did after that i did a six seven k i think it was and i just had to cut it short couldn't run anymore i was just in bits i struggled to walk back home so with that said with the body deteriorating getting worse in the runs the only thing i could do was rest up so i rested up for the next three weeks you know i have a mate that does um acupuncture and massage and all that so i was down to him working the calves as much as i can and uh, to try and heat that heal up as much as i can towards martin there the short run on a thursday friday probably six seven k kept it really slow and then it was on martin day let's go let's see what i have in the tank uh, i knew i had to pull back a little bit but a uh, long story short on that one um i because i'd missed out on my long miles the second half of the race i completely deteriorated and i finished with an official time like it was four hours 11 minutes that i finished the marathon in 11 minutes short on my goal and um, i was happy that i was able to continuously run through the entire marathon so that was that was a finish for me that for me at that stage i was like you know what i finished the marathon i went from start to finish in the marathon without having to stop uh, I was proud of that. I was like, eh, never again, which didn't happen, of course. But my body was in agony. There are videos of me going through that last half a kilometer. Um, with, with people are taking videos of me going through that last half a kilometer. And, and the running is just unbelievably horrible. I'm literally limp running at this stage. My legs are just shattered. They're in bits. I was in an awful way when I finished that marathon. And basically, I, I could barely walk afterwards. I remember I, when I finished the marathon, the, the steward was like, you've done the hard part. Do you want the wheelchair right now? And the only reason I didn't take the wheelchair is because it was the first time my mom seen me run a marathon. And she was like, I was like, I can't rock up to my mom in a wheelchair. That's just not happening like that. She would just lose her mind completely. I was, I was in that bad of a way. So to go back to the biggest mistakes i made um the biggest one and the thing a lot of people do is that they start off too fast you're running way too fast you're thinking your long runs being marathon pace you know go with easy miles slow it down those easy runs those long runs should be up to a minute slower if not longer than a minute slower than your 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 pace on race day yes when you get closer to race day you know you're eight weeks out maybe you know or may, maybe six weeks out you can go a little bit faster and you know add a couple of marathon pace kilometers near the end of the long run that kind of thing but if you're starting out trying to go faster your body's going to break down just like mine did on, on that day and uh, you need to mix up your runs not every run's the fastest run if you want to run faster do shorter tempo runs maybe once a week or a bit of intervals once twice a week and slowly build up then increase your mileage by 10 10 percent or so each week i wouldn't recommend any faster than that because once again you're putting your your body through hell and uh, you know the, the, the weekly pounding and stuff like that and if you keep just going too fast too long and um, your, your body will break down the other thing i did wrong was i muddled up my goals so i talk about a 5k pb i talk about a half martin pb i talk about a 10k pb 
they're all well and good but that wasn't the goal the goal was to go for a marathon so when i did a half marathon i had no business going for a 10k pb no matter how great my body felt i should went recovery run build up towards the long run and that long run the next weekend slow it down the pace and get more miles in the legs and build up my endurance i wasn't building up my endurance and um, i wasn't building up my my aerobic capacity i was just going as hard as i can every run probably had an element element of an anaerobic run to it because i was running so hard and like when i finished every run i was out of breath so we need to slow them down go for your longer your longer slower runs build them up from there so to sum all that up i was basically running too hard running too fast every run had to be a pb get out of that mindset not every run has to be a pb it's like if you're in the gym you don't do a one rep max every single time testing your strength you do some days if you're doing for example a bench press you know you might be going for that six to eight range eight eight rep range another day might be eight to twelve rep twelve rep range but you're not going in and going right one rep max see what i have next day one rep max see what i have next day one rep max see what i have because you're just going to burn yourself out it's the exact same with running you're not going to go out there run as hard as you can each and every run because eventually your body will break down so with that said hopefully i know it's a long way away to say get the easy miles in get them in but i just thought by telling that story and how i messed up when doing it it might help you think actually yeah that does make sense let's pull it back a bit let's think about the main goal the overall goal and, and work around that there's no point in working for a 5k pb and a marathon pb at the exact same time because they're gonna they're gonna cross over and one is gonna affect the other so have that one goal build everything around that one goal and switch up your runs not every run has to be the fast run you can and that is pretty much for me guys thank you for watching this video that's it from coach sean take care now that wasn't a hard video to get through now was it i hope you guys got some value out of the video if you did please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to coach sean's channel which is somewhere here and um, hit that button subscribe to coach sean's channel leave a thumbs up there should be another couple of other videos around here for you guys to check out and that's all from me from coach sean take care